Hello everyone. My name is Officer Spencer Halls from the uh, local police department here. Uh, this is my deputy here, Barnes and Noble. Um, we uh, basically this is uh, we wanted to talk to you today about a very serious matter. Very serious. Uh, I mean, a matter that is a fact. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it. It's just going to topple America if we do not handle it right now. Yeah. And if I may jump in on that, Chief, uh, you know, all too often you, you drive, you know, and you, you take it for granted. You really do. Uh, you don't really pay attention to the little things as you, you make your little left turn in the, in the Walmart and stuff. Uh, you know, hell, even washing your car, it, it becomes dangerous. It really does <clears throat> these days. And it's not just during the winter months and stuff like that, right? Uh, Good point. You know, many times a year uh, you just see unnecessary conduct behind the wheel uh, which is it's, this is kind of leading to the the general idea of this video which is uh, would you like to introduce that uh, sir uh, yeah basically um, you know we got a call uh, from our captain uh, you know uh, saying hey and we didn't appreciate it either yeah I mean you know it's not like I'm like oh fuck you know this is awesome I get to talk to my fucking superior no, no it's not that type of situation where it's a good thing okay it's a lot different than me and you talking I imagine I never talked to him before so yeah so you know it's a fucking bad thing whatever you know he, he's actually wanting to talk to you so yeah, sorry we're cussing a lot we're just tired of driving on these goddamn streets and retarding right, just go ahead right sir go ahead. and you know and like I said if, it, if something's not done about it you know it's just gonna absolutely just kill us really I mean, really, it really will. Uh, I mean, you know, you guys act like an ambulance driver is just on call all the time, and there's not always somebody else. You know, you act like you should be the one receiving treatment at all times. Like if you get hurt, and when I say you guys, uh, we'll here in a moment get to who you guys are. Okay, uh, you know, you act like it should be you at all times. Like you want to be in the back of an ambulance or something like that. Uh, just you now, this morning, I was being interrogated by a uh, person. Uh, you know, I don't know why. I don't know why they had the sunglasses on. Actually, it's pretty dark out still at that time. Uh, around 7:45 or so, I believe, uh, this morning. Um, so I, I nearly got out of the, the cruiser and I was going to go back there and uh, give him a ticket, but I was in a hurry to get somewhere. And uh, I guess it was so sad to see it happening continuously from pulling out in front of you, cutting you off, not using your signals. These are little things that should be taken into consideration when driving because that is actually part of driving. Um, you know, and you know, maybe we should get onto the, the right. You're starting to fucking piss me off. Okay, we're talking about women drivers. Okay. Yes. I mean, <laughs> women drivers. I know I'm an officer of the law, and uh, you know I'm not supposed to put a gender bias or any type of bias, but let's face facts. It's women. When you're driving 80 miles an hour down the fucking highway, doing your makeup, not even paying attention to the road, or you're talking on the phone. You know, about going shopping later or some stupid and, shit and like texting, that. Texting on the steering wheel. I mean, you're supposed to see over your steering wheel, okay? When you're texting on it and you're holding it, I mean, by God, if I ever see another one, I swear. If I see another one of those, it's just, there ain't gonna be a ticket. I'm just gonna start shooting. You know what I mean? It's just gonna be over. It I is. mean, if you happen to be that driver, your I mean, throat's gonna get cut probably. <laughs> I mean, it really will. And you'll lose all your luggage, so to speak. Now, if you really. If you want that on your conscience, so be it, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. That's um, really sad, really. You don't think about your life, it pairs. Uh, I mean, if, if putting that blush on your face in the, in the visor of your car while texting at the same time, going 95 down the freeway, 25 over the speed limit, is that important to you to get to your boyfriend's house who's probably just let another chick leave prior to your arrival? He's probably a lot better looking than you because probably doesn't even wear makeup, okay, and has natural nails like your sunsets on the end of your tip you know what I'm saying it's just and probably nice boobs too I'd say uh, if it's really worth you dying to, to see this man or maybe you're a lesbian or you know because it's all about women or maybe you're even a, a gender confused robot whatever the case may be maybe we spend time in the barnyard you know who knows who knows who cares what you do it's just the fact that I don't want to be running off the road in my cruiser and I hate giving out tickets I can give out tickets every five minutes if I wanted to it's just uh, but we don't like to it's, it's irritating so we're going to sing a song along here for you so you, you uh, take this in consideration uh, let me take the time on this opposite of what we're saying 
you know, roughly, it's not going to be call me anymore, you know, because because you fucked up and you know, call hearse, you know, call hearse is what this should, this should be. We're not coming call anymore. Her. You know, it's not going to happen. So you call nine one one, and you see how long it takes, especially if you live in G Racing, uh, Kentucky. If you live here, uh, call the cops if you get in a wreck, or if you're getting beat by your spouse, and you know, we're going to say, hey. That's the girl who was who's putting a rake up on behind the wheel. And we're not going to come out. We're not going to come out. Uh, if we do come out, it's probably just going to be worse for you, honestly. I mean, we're just going to absolutely tear you a new one. That's right. I mean, we'll probably help your husband or boyfriend or your, the dude you're cheating on with your, your husband, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, you know, just uh, take this consideration because there's no second warnings. Uh, we'll put this out there, let it kind of circulate a little bit, and we'll take your, uh, we'll see how you react, all right? We're like the Bob Ross of cops. We're calm until, you know, until the, the paint don't splatter right. right and exactly. when the paint your fucking brains on the road, you know, so be it. Anyway, you guys have a good day. And uh, we're going to sing a little song just to kind of express. Speaks volumes. Speaks volumes. Volumes. Speed limits. You know what I'm saying? And I have no doubt in my mind that by the time this is over, in the annals of time, People will be talking about three things. Invention of the submarine, Philly cheesesteak, absolutely, and call me the song that we're about to do. So get ready. That's right. Let's do this. This is real stuff, people. Listen to this, okay? It's real. It's real. It's happening. Stay, stay classy. Run in a boat to the lightning. Send me on my way, still smiling. Maybe that's the way I should go. Straight into the mouth of the unknown. Left the skanky on the table. Never really thought I'd be able. Say I'm really visit on the weekend. I lost my whole life in a different. I've said it so many times. I would change my ways. No, never mind. God knows I tried. Call me a sinner, call me a saint. Tell me it's over, I'll still love you the same. Call me a favorite, call me the worst. Tell me it's over, I don't want you to hurt. It's all that I can say. So I my way. You better fucking remember this too, alright, when you're driving. Got it all together. Nothing really lasts forever. I had to make a choice that was not mine. I had to say goodbye for the last time. Come on, life in a suitcase. Never really stand in one place. It's the way it should be. I live my life like a gypsy I've said it so many times I would change my ways No, never mind God knows I've tried Call me a sinner Call me a saint Tell me it's over I'll still love you the same Call me a favorite Oh, I'll 